Lights out, everybody. It is later than you think. This is Arch Obler bringing you another in our series of stories of the unusual. And once again, we caution you. These Lights Out stories are definitely not for the timid soul. So we tell you calmly and very sincerely, if you frighten easily, turn off your radio now. Yes, yes, Adelina, I am here. No, Camilla. No, Camilla. Yes, yes, she'll be here any moment I send for her. You must not talk, Adelina. You're starting. Uh, come, Frank. We'll go see if Dr. Miller is coming. Yeah. Uh, so, now I can breathe. But, Herbert, Dr. Miller, why do you send for her? What can she do? Don't I be a fool. Did you not hear her? But the old woman. Dr. Miller, Dr. Miller. I tell you, she drove me crazy with it. Until finally, I sent for Dr. Miller. Yeah, but where will she come? Who knows? And if she does come, what difference can it make? The old woman, worn out machine. Eighty-four years is long enough. Ah, perhaps that is the doctor now. I will go with you. I cannot believe that she would come here. In a moment, we shall see. Yes, yes, I am coming. Adelina lives here? Yes. Yes, Dr. Miller. Uh, you do not recognize me, perhaps. I am the mayor, old Albert. Oh, yes. Uh, will you honor my house by entering? Of course. I, I did not know if you would come. You are so busy. She is such an old She's a woman. a friend of my mother's. Where is she? Uh, oh, this way, please. <laughs> Albert. Oh, oh, yes. Doctor, if you will permit me. This is my good neighbor, Frank. It, it is a great honor meeting you, Dr. Miller. Adelina, you say she is dying. Why do you keep me from her? Oh, no, no, Doctor. Do not even think such a thing. Come. Come this way. In here, Doctor. In here. Uh, you hear? She talks with her last breath so pitifully. It is a great pity. Uh, for one as old as she, it would take heaven's own intervention to Please stop. Please go now. Huh? Oh, yes, yes, of course, Doctor. Anything you say. Adelina. Try to open your eyes. It is I, your old friend, Dr. Mueller. Dr. Yes, I came as quickly as I could. Dr. Miller. I'm ready. Yes. Here is my hand. Uh, oh, my friend, you are in pain. My son. Hmm? My youngest. In two days, he will be here. Oh, Dr. Miller. I am so tired. And I want to die. But not yet. Not yet. No. No, you must rest. Not yet. Not yet. I tell you, I must not die. Not yet. Adelina, please. My youngest. He comes. I must see him once more. I must not die. Not yet. Not Oh, my friend. You, you call me friend, don't you? You, my only friend. Have pity. What can I do? Give me life. Give me life for a few more hours until my son arrives. You are so wise. A few more hours. Say you can give me life. Life. I am so old. I know. The blood is cold and warm. 
But in your wisdom, you must know some way to keep a little warmth within me. A little warmth until he comes. I, uh, I don't talk, friend. Do not turn away from me. I beg you. Have pity. Help me. Hold me. I have fought so long. Now you must help me, Dr. Miller. A few more breaths. Until my son. Yes, I will help you. You must not speak. You must use all your strength in listening and trying to understand what I'm going to say. I... Good friend, I what I'm about to tell you is so... so strange that I almost dare not speak. And yet if I'm to help you as you ask, I must speak. No, 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 just listen. As you've said yourself, death is very close to you. And since yours is the disease of old age, of a body worn with long years of living, there's nothing that medicine can do for you. Except perhaps to ease your leaving of this life. And I will help you. But what I'm about to do to you is... is something I should not do. Listen, good friend. Try to understand. For many years I have worked with little white mice attempting to discover the true nature of cancer. For many years, good friend. And while in these studies I've made a discovery. A discovery which... which goes beyond all understanding. Oh, in working on the little creatures, I-, I discovered that when an organism has lived its full span of years, the cells within the body become aged, worn, and become what I call a fibroblast. Now I've discovered that by injecting the extract of the uh, tissues, oh, she dies. What should I... I promised her. Oh. I must do it. I must... My instrument case. I must. I must. And I promise. The hypodermic. My hands tremble. The liquid, so green. If it only gives her a little more of life. My hands must be sure. Needle. Deep into her heart. No, no, you must live. Only a few seconds more until I... There. Deep. Done. No. It will never work. My experiment's foolishness, the reaction on the mice, only the illusion to my hopes. And to do what I've done to this old woman. Her dying flesh. Her pulse almost gone. Oh, forgive me, old friend. In your death. No. Not dead. She's red. Eyes. So bright. So fresh. So young. Doctor. 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 No. Doctor. No. It cannot be. No. Doctor Miller, no. what is it? What? No. Doctor, there's the old woman. There's Adelina. Who? It is young woman. I. Adelina. Look at me. My arms. Warm. Alive. My cheeks. I can feel them. Wrong. Full oh, like they were years ago. She has made me young. She did it. She. Me, old Adelina. Young. 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 Miracle on earth. A dying old woman young again. My face. Oh, doctor, all the states will know of this miracle. You have conquered death. We shall live forever. Oh, no. What have I done? What 
What is it? What do you want? Uh, Doctor, it is I, Frank. Oh, such news. He is coming here. Hmm? I tell you, he comes here. The mayor is bringing him. He refused to wait until morning. And who is this impatient one that has to see me at midnight? It is... It is... His Excellency. His Excellency? Yeah. Frank, what are you saying? I tell you, he is His Excellency. Oh, his last name. I, I never can remember names. His, his picture, you, you see his picture everywhere. He is coming here, Doctor, to see you. The mayor is bringing him. Oh, Frank. Thank you for drinking. Oh, no, no, I tell the truth, Doctor. The great one has heard of the miracle of Adelina. What are you saying? Ah, yeah, the miracle. There is a resurrection from the grave. I hear him talking to the mayor. He is coming to see you. Ah, ah there. Yeah, you see, I tell you the truth. Open up. Open up in there. Ah, ah, aren't you going to open the door? What ah. else is there to do? Ah. Open it, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what an honor. What an honor. Dr. Miller, you know who I am? Yes, Your Excellency. I am a man of few words. I will speak plainly. I want plain answers. I am at your service, Your Excellency. Then tell me quickly. How did you do this miracle? Miracle? He means Adelina. His Excellency means... Close your mouth. I am talking. Go, all of you. Yes, yes, Your Excellency. Now then, Doctor. I ask you for an answer. How did you give that old woman back her youth? Well, don't stand there staring at me. I want an answer. How did you do it? There is nothing to say. Nothing to say? No. Do you realize to whom you are speaking? Now, there is no doubt you do not. In your unfortunate isolation, you have failed to do your duty in having the proper knowledge of who is important to the state. All right, I will educate you. I am Joseph Brown, Doctor of Philosophy and member of the Department of Propaganda. I know of you. So? Then speak plainly. There is no use hiding facts. I've seen the woman with my own eyes. Your fat mare took me to her. I've talked to neighbors, friends. I know that she was worn out, aged, dying. Now she's young again. Speak, and speak plainly. How did you do it? And if I tell you? If you tell me. My dear doctor, this is your house? Yes. Your experiments in that room? My laboratory. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Your Excellency. Come here. Yes, Your Excellency. Open that door. At uh, once, Your Excellency, at once. Into your laboratory, my fine doctor. I follow. The rest of you stay out here. Now we will be quite alone. So, now we can speak plainly. Ah, so this is where you do your work, hmm, my fine doctor? Yes. Uh, what have we here? Well, my Little white mice. How charming. I use them in my experiments. And what are your experiments? The hereditary factor in cancer. Cancer? So you persist in lying to me. Doctor, they tell me you are a very clever woman. Yet I assure you, you will be most stupid if you persist in keeping the truth from me. I... I am not a violent man. So I ask you very calmly to be sensible and speak freely. Now then, the miracle of youth... How did you do it? I... I am not quite sure myself. I did no answer. Well, there are other methods. Mr. Mayor. You want me, Your Excellency? Come here. Yes, yes. Anything you say, Your Excellency. Mr. Mayor, how old are you? Why, uh, Your Excellency, I'm not quite sure. In my fifties, I believe. All right, you will do. Bear your arm. My arm? You heard me. All right, doctor. Give him the injection. I injection? Me? You oh, will no, kindly no, shut no. your mouth. You heard my order, Doctor. Do as I say. The injection to him? Yes, yes, to him. I spoke plainly enough. But I can't do that. Why not? You have more of the liquid. Yes, but don't you understand? It's, it's permanent reactions on the human mechanism. I, I, I don't know that... And so I, I dare not use it. But that woman, she is young. Yes, but, but who knows what other... All right. All right. That's quite enough. Doctor, I have come a long way to investigate a rumor. 
Now I am here, and you will do as I say. If I refuse? Do not speak like a child. I am not a violent man. And yet, doctor, it would be a pity to lose your life work, hmm? Now do not stand there. I am growing quite impatient. Yes, and the mayor, too, grows impatient. Oh, Your Excellency, what are you going to do to me? I am an old Hold man. your mouth and bear your arm, you old fool. Well, Doctor. I am ready. Excellent. Oh, Doctor, what? Hold your tongue, I tell you. Proceed, Doctor. Oh. It will not hurt, Albert. <gasps> so, how simple. The needle in, you press the plunger. It is done. How do you feel, my friend? Yes, yes. How, how is it, old man? What's going on inside of you? I... I... Look. His flesh... Begins to glow like hers did. The wrinkle's gone. He's back straight. Um, it happened again. A miracle. Speak, man. Speak. Your Excellency. My... My head... It hurts. My blood... Rushing through my veins. Doctor, why do you look at me so? My voice sounds so strange in my ears. Look, look in the mirror ahead of you, you old fool. Yes. No, it cannot be. My face, young. I'm young again. Doctor, look at me. Young again. Young again. I'm young again. Young again. Oh, my muscles so strong. Look, I jump, I dance. And let me out of here. Everyone shall see. Yes, go, go. Frank, Frank, everyone, look. I'm young. I'm young again. She made me young. So, it makes them young again. Does it? Are you blind? Did you see it just as I saw it? Wrinkled flesh, young, twisted back straight. I tell you, a gift to the state from heaven. Oh, hell. <laughs> all science is mad and all scientists are madmen. I have often said that. Only we who think with our blood think clearly and recognize our destiny. I don't understand. You will receive many honors for this, Doctor. Oh, but first, you have kept an accurate record of your experiments? Yes. May I ask where? Notebook. This. Excellent. In the name of the state, I asked you to give it to me. To you? Yes. What would you do with it? I told you. There are some of us who recognize our destiny. I recognize this as mine. What? With this power in my possession, think. Think what wonders I can perform. An army of youth. Everlasting youth. An but... army invincible. Oh, no. Old men young and young men forever young. An army without end sweeping the earth. And I? Yes. I, the leader. No. No, you cannot use it for that. Cannot? Ah, oh, yes, I understand. You are thinking that there is another leader. Well, Doctor, at this moment I can speak quite frankly with you. Yes, there is a leader. And they bow their heads to him, the masses. But I will tell you this. It was my brains, my catchwords, my slogans that taught them to look on him as the invincible. And so, what they are shout for is really a man who exists only in me. <laughs> Now perhaps I can take my rightful place. He's an emotional old woman, Nayland. While I, I know the wonder and the power of the soft word. <laughs> With your elixir of youth to tempt men, I shall become quite invincible. With an army invincible. You do not speak? All right. Then do give me the notebook. You, you cannot make men young to kill. Make them young to live. The notebook, Doctor. No, I'll not give it to you. My work has been to preserve life, not to destroy it. The notebook? No, you can't have it. Not for soldiers, do you hear me? Not for soldiers. As you wish, Doctor. I told you, I am not a violent man. Good night. Head off. Yes, Your Excellency. Go in there. She has a notebook in her hand. Bring it to me quickly. Yes, Your Excellency. What a pity. The good doctor. She has committed suicide. Come in. Oh! Ready? Order to the day. Company A, D, F, and G, report to medical officer at once. Company J, M, Q, report to medical officer at 12 o'clock. <laughs> Your regiments, General, they do not quite know what is happening to them, hmm? Eh? It does not matter, Your Excellency. They obey orders. Mm. Come, let us go into your office. As you say. Now then, we can speak most comfortably. How many men have been treated? Fifty picked ones. 
You are satisfied with the results? It was beyond belief. And so you will join me? Anything you say. Uh, when does it happen? He gives one of his infernal orations next week in the old hall. With you and the others to help me, I assure you his old womanish ravings will end right there. You'll speak of others. You doubt they will join me? Oh, no. no. All men will follow you. Naturally. To think that you should have made such a discovery. I sometimes surprise myself. And you alone know the formula? Yes. That is why I am so sure of you and the others. It will be most pleasant to know the delights of youth forever, my friend. You, uh, have you taken the injection yet? I? No. No, I decided to wait until the results of our test cases were quite complete. Fifty human guinea pigs. Now that I am certain of the success, yes, I will do it at once. Eh? My injection here. Have it all ready. Hypodermic filled. Very well filled. How interesting it looks in its case, General. My immortality. Yes. You would like your youth again now, too? Oh, I... Oh, I am not ready. There is nothing to fear. You see? I pinch the skin in my arm. The needle bites for a moment. So, it is done. Do you... Do you feel pain? Huh? Uh, pain? No. No, no, no. Only a strange warmth in my veins. I feel... I feel my blood seems to run swift. Your... Your face. What, what, what is it? Your face. It, it is changing. Yes. Yes, I feel it. I'm young. A young man again. Oh, I told you. Young. Oh. You, you, mean, you will pardon me. I'll tell you. Come on. No, 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 no. Let him come in. Let him come in. Nothing disturbs a young man. Nothing. Well, what is it you want? Well, how thoughtful of you to bring me such a beautiful young woman. Yeah, it is about her that I have come, Your Excellency. About her and the mayor. The mayor? Yeah, he is waiting outside. But who are you? You... Uh, oh, yes, yes, I remember you. Yes, you are from the village... Ah, uh, this woman, the first to be rejuvenated. Yes, yeah, Your Excellency, Adelina, the very first. The, the villagers, they send me to ask you. You will help her and the mayor, won't you, Your Excellency? Help? What are you talking about? Yeah. Look at her, the picture of youth. She was dying of old age, but look at her now, young, beautiful. Yeah, Your Excellency, so sad, young as you say, beautiful. But the devil's brew Dr. Miller put into our veins. Listen to what it has done to her. What? Uh, what? Speak, Adelina, speak. No. No. Yeah. No, I won't. I won't. Stop no. it. Make her stop. No. I order you make no. her stop. No. No. Quiet, Adelina. No. Quiet, my no. friend. Tell me, you, you. Yeah. Tell me, what's wrong with the woman? Oh, I tell you, the devil's brew. The, the stuff that makes her young. Speak, I command you, speak. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I'm trying to. It, it, it made her young. It, it made her body young. But day after day, her, her mind, it, it has kept on growing younger. No, no, you lie. You lie. Not the injection. It was something else. Something else that did it. Oh, no, no, no. I tell the truth. Uh, the mayor. He eh? did the same thing to the mayor. The injection. No, was... no. It can't be the injection. No. It... General, what? why do you look at me? You. You took an injection. A large one. Get out. Out, all of you, out! Yes, you can't yes, frighten yes, me, get out, out! Yes, get yes, out, you lie! Yes. It was not the injector, it was something else. I'm, I'm all right, my mind is strong, out! Out! Uh, yes, 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 it, uh, it was lies. Uh, it, uh, it cannot be the injection, no, no, no. Uh, some, some, some strange disease, yes, yes, I... Uh, I, I'm all right. I, I must be all right. Yes, I, I, I'm strong. My, my mind is strong. I, I, I'm young. I, I, I'm not a violent man. No, no. I, I, I am young. My mind is strong. How can the mind grow young and the body stay old? It, it cannot be. My voice. 
My head. It spins. Younger. What was I saying? Younger. The room spinning. Where am I? My voice. Strange. These clothes. Soldier clothes. Mother! <laughs> 